In this lesson, we're going to design the weather page. So we'll go to the weather page XAML file and there we're going to write our XAML code. But before this, let's take a look at this image which we are going to design. Well, on this weather page, we'll use the grid layout and here we'll break down this design in different parts. This is the first row and the height is auto. Then we have this second, third, fourth and fifth row and the height of all these rows is auto. I want to tell you that I have created few assets. All you need to do is just download these assets along with this video and right after that you need to paste these assets in the images folder that's present under the resources folder. Okay here we have added all these assets. Now let's run this application because we'll create a design with the help of hot reload option. Okay here our application is running with some text message. Let's remove this and now we'll add a grid layout and then add the row definition equals and there we'll add 5 rows with the height of auto. Right after that, let's set the row spacing of 20 units. Then we'll get the design for this first row. This first row contains two children. So we'll choose the stack layout here and put this stack layout in grid dot row equals zero. Then we'll set the margin of 20 units from left, top and right side. And we don't need a margin from the bottom, so we'll set 0. We want these controls in the horizontal direction, so we'll set the orientation of this stack layout equals horizontal. Alright, then in this stack layout, we'll need two things. The first is your location, and the second is search icon. In order to make this your location control, we'll choose the label control and set the text equals your location and font size equals default. Alright, but we need that kind of control. So we'll wrap this label inside the frame and by default the padding of the frame is 20 units. So we'll set it to 10 units. Then we'll set the corner radius equals 35 units, has shadow property equals true, and border color equals light gray. Now let's add another control for this search icon. And for this purpose, we'll add an image button. Then set the source of this image equals, and let me show you the image which we're going to use. In the images folder, we have this image for search icon. We'll use this image here. Then we'll set the height and width request to 30 units and set the horizontal option to N and expand. All right. Now we're going to cover the second row design. Well, in this row, we'll need two things, city name and the weather description. First, I'll add a stack layout and put it in the grid dot row equals one. And we'll set the orientation of this stack layout equals vertical. By default, the stack layout orientation is vertical. Okay, now let's add a label control and name it LBL city. Then set the font size equals 40 units. Okay, right after that, we'll set the horizontal option equals center and text equals gray. Also, we'll set the text of this label and here let's add any city name. When we'll consume the API, then we'll remove this hard-coded city name value. But right now, we are designing this weather page so we'll add the hard-coded value here. Just like this label control, we need an other label control. 
and here we'll set the name equals LBL weather description, font size equals medium, horizontal option equals center, and text color equals slate gray. Then we'll add some hard coded text here, which we'll remove later. All right. Now we'll move towards the third row. And in this row, we'll just add an image control. Because there is only one control in this row, so we'll not use any layout. This image control will be the direct child of our grid layout. So we'll add an image control and put it inside the grid dot row equals 2. Then we'll set the name of this image to IMG weather icon. Vertical options to start and height and width request equals 300 units. Then we'll set the source of this image and here we'll pass any random image from the images folder. We'll remove this later. Okay, now let's move towards another row. And in this row, we'll add another grid layout. So we'll add a grid and put it inside the grid dot row equals three. Then in this grid, we'll add two rows with the height of auto and three columns with the width of 0.33 static for all of these. Then add the margin equals 20 units. Okay, now we'll add an image control and put it inside the zero row and zero column. Then set the horizontal options equals center and height request of 25 units. Right after that, we'll set the source of this image equals and here we'll pass this image name for humidity which comes from our images folder. Alright, now we'll add a label control and name it LBL humidity. Then we'll put this inside the grid dot row equals 1 and grid dot column equals 0. Right after that, set the horizontal option equal center. And for now, we'll set the text property and add any random number here. Then we'll add another label control and name it LBL temperature. And we'll put this label in grid.row equals zero and grid.column equals one. Then we'll use grid.row span equals two, horizontal options to center, font size of 40 units and font attributes to bold. Then pass any random number in the text property. Okay, now let's copy these two controls for humidity image and label. And then we'll paste it here. Okay, first we'll put this image in grid.row equals 0 and grid.column equals 2. And for this label, we'll choose grid.row equals 1 and grid.column equals 2. Then we'll change the name of this label to LBL wind. And for this image source, we'll set the wind image that comes from our images folder. Alright. Now in the next lesson, we'll cover our collection view, which we'll put inside this last row. I'll see you in the next lesson.